Okay, so today we're gonna work on creating a coil pot. And the coil pot is functional art, meaning art you can use in everyday life. So eventually you might use your pot to put pencils in or little toys in or something like that. Give it to your mom to put it in her kitchen. That's functional art. <laughs> you always need to have your slab on top of a canvas bag when you're working. If you don't do that, it's gonna get stuck to the table and when you go to lift it off, it could rip or tear. So make sure to stay on your canvas bag. Start by laying your circle template onto the clay. Yours probably won't be as big as this, but I'm gonna remove some like that. And now I'm going to carefully trace around the circle. It should stick on pretty well but if you need a neighbor to help hold it, that would be okay. Slow and easy using this pen tool. I'm going to cut around that, and this should come right off as if you were almost making a cookie. So this is called a slab, which is a flat piece of clay, and this is what we're going to build the coil pot on. But before we do that, we want to put our name in carefully because it's going to, I'll show you, it's going to make these little things pull up like that and eventually we need to smooth that off so that it doesn't get rough. Okay, and we also are going to quickly dampen our fingers on the sponge just a little bit and we want to smooth the edge. So not really squishing it, just taking the moisture from the sponge and smoothing it. And what that does is it's going to make this, keep it from being rough. Because all these little things, even though they don't seem like any big deal right now, once they go into the clay, which will fire this, and flip it over and do the same on the back, those become very sharp. So I'm just wetting my hand and dampening the edge. And once I feel that I've smoothed it all the way and I'm checking that out, I'm going to set this aside, but keep it somewhere on the mat. And the next thing we're gonna do is start creating some coils to build up. And the first thing we'll want to do, you can grab clay from the supply table whenever you need it, okay? Make sure your hands are damp, but not soaking wet. Okay, grab a small amount, squeeze it, and use the flat part of your hand to roll it, just like you might be doing with Play-Doh. I thought you'd done that. Keep your hands damp. Try to roll quickly, somewhat, so that your clay doesn't dry out. And I just kind of pressed it a little bit to keep my shape going. And as the coil gets bigger, I can use two hands back and forth, back and forth, uh, because that should keep this fairly even, okay? Keep going with it. And if one part gets a lot skinnier, back off this part and focus over here, keeping your hands damp, but not soaking wet. And maybe even working my way down like this. until you have a coil that's not too thick and chunky. Okay. And the next thing we're gonna wanna do is add the coil to the base here. And whenever we add anything, it's super important that you take your little comb here, and this is for scoring. Scoring just means to rough up the edges and it will allow the slip, which is like clay glue, to get into these grooves, see those grooves I made, and stay. So I've scored that with this. I now I'm gonna stick my fingers into the slip. Should be, put this on, that's the clay glue. Put it on kind of generously, but not dripping totally all over the place. Like that. 
also score the coil or it's not going to stick. So I've scored the coil too. A little bit hard to hold, but put some slip on and then take this part that was scored and line it up on your base. Carefully going around the circle, working my way around and where I get to this portion, I can use this pin tool to remove that. But I really, really, really am going to want to kind of press that down firmly. When your hands get really goopy like mine, I'm gonna have some towels on the table. Yours will probably be real towels. Get some of that off. It's very hard to hold the clay and work with the clay if your hands are super goopy. So get some of that off, but no need to wash. And now what I want to do is I want to kind of take my finger and just seal where I put that coil on so that there's no weird gaps and I can get a nice attachment. Just pushing with my thumb like that, making sure that the coil is attached, pressing, smoothing gently. Okay, all the way around. And that started to add a little bit of height, a very small amount of height. From here, you're gonna start personalizing this with decorative coils that will build up the height. And so I'll show you that. Some of it might be a little bit in a time lapse, lapse which will speed things up just a tad, okay? But Smooth that on there and then let that be, being careful not to get it too soaked and too wet. 